Hey guys, I am Big and Scary. I'm bringing you another StarCraft II replay, this time featuring Bear Jew Slava in the top left corner playing our red Protoss. And in the bottom right, in the blue Protoss, we have Doom Ninja. Doom Ninja is in Platinum, Bear Jew is in Diamond. I think Doom Ninja is preparing to move up to Diamond, so not the biggest skill difference in the world. We're on Ohana, so uh, plenty of opportunity for either player to abuse the other. Uh, it's a very nice net map, very pretty. I'm expecting a good, solid match. Ohana really favors two base because you have that small ramp leading down into the natural. It's very well protected with the destructible debris on the left, a medium-sized ramp leading down to a split-up common ground. We've got those uh, pesky rocks in the center preventing a really good wall off. Or, I mean, a surround. And even if you did, the actual common ground area is not the biggest in the world. You do have some large areas right next to the uh, Stelnaga Watchtower. So it's very claustrophobic, even though it is open. Even though uh, it's not all pathways and tunnels, it does feel cut up. Because there's lots of little island uh, islands just in the way of the surrounds. Bear Juice sending out an early probe, getting the uh, nice little scout off. Doesn't see any shenanigans. That first gateway getting popped down right at the right moment. But no early gas or anything like that for uh, Bear Juice to get worried about any early tech or hidden tech. And he does see the pylon in the gateway in the base, so he's not worried about anything proxy. Doom Ninja has yet to scout, though. So uh, he does not know that Bear Juice has placed his assimilator and is working on that wall off with the gateway. So maybe Bear Jew is preparing to do something irregular in his base. It could be that he's just being defensive and likes his privacy, like most of us do. Doom Ninja's already finished off that gas, though, so it's going to be interesting to see what exactly he decides to build. Playing it smart, getting his probe all around his base, checking out all the nooks and crannies, and then behind his own mineral line, just to make sure that the Bear Jew didn't take the opportunity to throw down a proxy pylon or was doing any shenanigans with a forge for uh, some proxy photon cannons. Both players starting their cybernetics core at just about the right moment. Uh, just pretty much identical builds all the way up to the point where uh, I think Doom Ninja just did a gas steal. He did. Just double checking the mini map to make sure the colors are right. So uh, Doom Ninja's doing a gas steal on Bear Jew. Not the worst thing in the world. I think if Bear Jew wanted the other gas he would have grabbed it by now. He's got just the Cybernetics core down, so whatever he was going to build with that early gas is probably not going to be terribly stunted. Another gateway. Another gateway. And a robotics facility for Doom Ninja, so that's what he wanted the other gas for. He's uh, grabbing his second assimilator and also a robotics facility, so one gate into Robo. No fast expand out of this guy. He's going for some early tech. Uh, and, you know, Bear, Bear Jew, has, he's going a two gate. So it's going to be interesting to see if he's going to try for a two gate with an expansion or if he'll go for something more traditional like a four gate or a three gate into Robo. He's got that double gas, which leads me to believe something higher tech, maybe the three gate into Robo, maybe uh, that expansion and then a couple of Robos. I'm not sure. Oh, look at this hidden expansion out of Bear Jew. That's peculiar. I wonder why um, I won. I can't think of anything that he's seen that would lead him to believe that this was necessary. It's an excellent place to put it because no one ever comes into the fifth. I guess this is a fifth because that's the third. And then most people grab the fourth over yonder because it's farther away from the enemy base. But you could technically call this the fourth. It's a matter of opinion. Uh, but I don't know why Bear Jew would want to grab his expansion there. It's incredibly exposed. And if scouted, is going to be very bad for for uh, Bear Jew, it's, it's pretty much impossible to scout, but I mean, that's the purpose of a hidden expand. And then once the uh, Cybernetics Core researches its warp gate, it's going to be in a perfect position to warp in units from a couple pylons and uh, push down into the third, maybe even take out the rocks and push up into the natural. But that Robo Bay is already started, it's already churning out the Immortals. Uh, Doom Ninja is bypassing the Observer, which might have saved him the... Uh, I don't know, embarrassment of not scouting this Nexus. That Observer might have taken a backwards route into the main base and uh, would have done something there. But it looks like it's a three gate into Robo with the two gateways coming up right after the robotics bay was started. It's not going to be a bad build at all. Uh, he's barely going to be behind on the Immortal count. And uh, he's probably going to go for an Observer first to actually scout that the Immortal pressure is coming. 
Doom Ninja is actually gearing up for some aggression from the looks of things. Uh, he's not saving up any money for uh, an expansion, and he's just constantly producing those Immortals. I wonder if he's going to produce another one or if he's going to push out once he gets these two Immortals. That'll be really the cincher here. That robotics facility is done. That first Immortal is on the way. Another gateway thrown down for Bear Jew is now up to four, uh, just saturating that fourth base as Doom Ninja pushes out. No pylons built at the fourth base, which would probably be a good idea. I guess Bear Jew, if this gets scouted, really doesn't want to uh, really doesn't want to expose it to any more loss. And each pylon that's thrown down there will be a hundred percent of a loss if it gets scouted. But it could also just allow him to warp in some units from behind. Even though there are two immortals here, whenever it pushes out, the immortal count's probably going to even up by the time. Oh no, he's supply blocked. Bear Jew getting supply blocked just. Uh, he could have caught up to the immortal count, but instead he's going to be behind just one. Uh, and with the defender's advantage, the super small ramp allowing him to force field. He's really not worried about this aggression coming out of Doom Ninja. He would have to expend substantially more force fields in order to hold his expansion from Doom Ninja. But uh, as things are now, just one force field will hold that ramp, preventing Doom Ninja from pushing up into the main. And even though Doom Ninja feels like he's got a really good contain on Bear Jew right now, it feels like if he grabs his expansion, he'll be substantially ahead of Bear Jew. Doesn't know about that hidden expand. Doesn't know uh, that they're actually tied on the economy. Actually, he's a little bit behind because this expansion is just now getting started while this one's been mining completely. Looks like that's it for the energy out of Bear Jew just for now. Another 15 energy is needed before he can throw down another force field. If Doom Ninja wanted to push right now, that would be the end of it. Uh, but he does not know that. He might suspect it, but he doesn't quite know it. Uh, another observer being brought up from both sides of things. One observer scouting the high ground, taking down that warp gate that was kind of helping with the wall off. Another observer in position from Bear Jew. If he's not careful, he'll lose his, uh, he'll lose his observer. Doom Ninjas is a little bit ballsy being positioned pretty far forward. Oh, here comes the immortal from Bear Jew, just poking it in. Oh, look at that color! It's uh, it was green because of the new patch. I, I I totally forgot about that, but it turns green from whoever you've selected. I didn't know if you guys knew that, but you you should. Another good force field. Uh, some of the zealots charging off into their death. Very brave sentry. Very stupid sentry. Uh, another sentry had been warped in. I believe he's got enough energy. He does just to hold that door. A really good concave for Bear Jew doing substantially more damage, but the immortal count is heavily in Doom Ninja's favor. 3-2. to two. All the force fields fall down. Only one sentry remains, and he does not have enough energy to force field that ramp again, so Doom Ninja, looking like he wants to push, pushes. Oh, he holds back just for a couple of seconds, allowing Bear Jew to get another warp round of warp ins off. Those immortals being pretty ballsy, pushing forward, doing some damage to the warp gates from the low ground. Another uh, immortal is going to be coming out any second now. Oh, good force field off the top to prevent them from running in and sniping. Oh, really nice force fields. Doom Ninja is really not afraid to expend these force fields just because he knows that, uh, that he's not going to be using them whenever he pushes up. Oh, finally Doom Ninja gets to the top just as another immortal comes out. The immortal count has been evened up. The uh, warp gate count is still five. I mean, Bear Jew has kept on his production. Both players kind of letting their macro slip. I think Bear Jew is struggling to keep up with three more gateways on the way uh, just to produce enough units. The infrastructure at home really hasn't adjusted for Doom Ninja's increased income from the expansion, which is just now getting saturated. He needs more gateways. He needs to spend more of this money. Another round of warp ins will probably do that for him. Uh, but... Doom Ninja's just barely saturating his main. Oh, he's pushing up the ramp again. Come on, Doom Ninja. You can do it. Get Be ballsy. Push up there. If he does, he's, he loses because uh, right now, Bear Jew has so many more units and uh, he's just ready to rock Doom Ninja's world. But he's probably content just to keep uh, Bear Jew contained. He's got the robotics bay on the way um, and he just does not know about this hidden expand down in the bottom left corner which is just killing him every second that goes by bear Jew gets a further and further lead the saturation down here is incredible oh no but a zealot's being sent to charge in there and he just barely misses the immortal one or two 
Zealots are going to charge into that uh, probe line while Doom Ninja continues to poke at the front, continues to be distracted. These Zealots are going to go to work. Completely no reaction out of Doom Ninja until one or two of the probes do go down. Uh, and these Zealots are now completely denying all the mining there. It's not uncommon, though, for uh, a scouting probe to throw down a proxy pylon just off in a corner somewhere, so I don't think Doom Ninja suspects a hidden expansion at all. Um, this sort of thing is to be expected, and with several Zealots being warped in on the bottom, especially with a Colossus there to su supply artillery fire, these Zealots are going to get cleaned up with no more losses. But it's still uh, annoying, that sort of aggression, that sort of... Uh, Harassment can be incredibly effective, especially buying Bear Jew enough time to get his money spent down. Uh, and he's now floating barely just 100 or 200 money. Oh, he's got Dark Shrine on the way, too. Uh, the Observer is currently with this main army, but I don't believe there's another one on the field. Let's double check that. Nope, just one and one. So the detection for the main army is pretty good, but a, uh, a DT can be spent from the third down into the, main, or the uh, natural. And it could really, really destroy everything there. Oh, and he's got to be careful. Bear Jew, that Colossus can pop the uh, force field. Oh, it can also really overextend itself, though. Pushing forward just a little bit too far. Exposing itself to a little bit of fire, but not taking any damage. If Doom Ninja was thinking he could pop down the uh, Colossus on top of this force field and force his entire army up the ramp. But he might not be confident with his current army production, his, cur his current uh, army count. To deal with bear Jews, and yeah, because bear Jews is absolutely ridiculously huge right now. Oh, did he just scout? I think he just sniped the observer. Yes, he did. So now it's two observers to zero. So all of the detection has completely gone down. Uh, and I expect this dark shrine is going to warp in a bunch of DTs. There they go. Four DTs are going to be sent down to the uh, the natural for Doom Ninja, and they are going to do a ridiculous amount of damage in a couple of seconds. Three more DTs pushing in with the Observer scouting that there was no detection. These uh, DTs are going to harass that army all the way back home while these four DTs completely destroy the saturation there. There is no detection also in the main, so uh, right now Doom Ninja has to pull all the way back. Really devastating loss for him. Have to be careful here, though. The Observer is probably going to get Chrono Boost out. Yeah, it is getting Chrono Boost out. And once those, uh, once that detection does show up, it's going to do quite a lot of damage. Uh, these DTs are going to die almost instantly once the Colossus can see them and fire away. And he does. That Observer does pop out. Those DTs go down, but all of a sudden, Bear Jew is free on the map. Look at this huge army that's just pushing down uh, from the north. And all of a sudden, Doom, Doom Ninja is the one who is uh, feeling contained, feeling pushed back. A single DT still working on the saturation there, but as the Observer comes in from Doom Ninja's main, it gets cleaned up. Two Colossus on the field, uh, going to supply a lot of damage per second, just AoE style, to Bearju's ball. But uh, I think he's just got him, got him outnumbered. I think that's all it is. Yes, the uh, unit composition here might be a little bit more intimidating, but the unit count for Bearju is substantial enough that uh, unless Doom Ninja gets really lucky with the force fields, really lucky with the placement, uh, Bear Jew is going to take this. All those poor zealots getting eaten up by the uh, Colossi firing down some of uh, their artillery fire that thermal lances are already on the field really doing just a lot of damage but slowly the units in the front are getting whittled away and eventually these Colossi are going to start taking damage from Bear Jew. Uh, the economic damage has been done. Oh, charge just now finishing for Bear Jew. Those zealots just rushing in, taking out all those colossi. One of them remaining, pushing back. Poor Doom Ninja. I bet he never suspected that this expansion was up until he watched the replay. If he did, he might not. He might just think that he doesn't know something special about uh, Protoss. I know something.